Hello, it's a Saturday and I think it's about 11 o'clock, half past 11. Uh, I had a bit of sleep in this morning, got up about half, well I was stirring around half 10, I was going through the Sky app, Sky Q app on my mobile and uh, there were a couple of rewards on there so I I joined it was sort of there's a VIP section and I went to the competition to win a Canon camera would you believe uh, also they were given away the Grinch, which I did accept. So I got up later, uh, put on the telly, put on, put on um, Sky, and I went to the store. I think to. No, I went to the VIP on the on the TV sky and it said um, they've given me a free movie but I didn't see the Grinch so I found I nearly got Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse then I thought no let's see what else is out there and then I saw Fallout one of the Mission Impossible series from the Mission Impossible series so I, uh, it's a buy and keep, and it priced at zero pounds. So I got it. So I'm looking forward to watching that later. Also, uh, I haven't seen my latest video, so I'll review it or check it out. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm just going to uh, wash up and then make the cereals, sit down and watch my video and then after that I don't know I'll try to get some music on the TV well, anywhere and I went through the various radio stations, Jazz FM, Scala Radio, BBC Radio 2. I'm thinking, what is it with Saturday morning radio shows? It's all chat radio at this hour. So eventually I found Classic FM. And then to get some music. I've watched my video and recharged the Canon battery. It's sunny intervals today and gentle breezes. As you can probably hear, it's quite windy too. I haven't left the house for two days, so I'm going to jump in the car go for a drive and although I'm gonna wear my I've got a rucksack it might be practical when I'm on the green lanes but when I'm in stores I can just wear it over one shoulder you know casual hip so there's no problem now it's a bit getting a bit self-conscious amount of my um, age wearing a rucksack in superstore I can, see the, the youngsters sort of giggling away or maybe I'm paranoid I don't know so yeah I've got around that little dilemma 
So that's the next thing now is to pop on the shoes and get out of here. And the last video that went up, I think it's vlog 426, dated the 18th of July, was a, a success in terms of combining two cameras now using this camera for most stuff walking indoors in the car even and using the other phone as a dash cam so it works both worlds to together it's a good concept you, know, you mustn't abandon one for the other you have to bring them together unite united we stand divided we fall right let's get out of here
that was Egerton Park which came to my attention a few weeks ago when I was walking from Bexhill Beach Bulu Green to Dilawar Pavilion on the way I spotted a museum and next to it was this park and I thought I'd come here one day and today was that day and my glasses are steaming up as I speak so that's just a quick little addition to what you've seen already I'm sure you saw the words Egerton Park all over the place anyway you didn't need me to um, reiterate the title well it's pretty hot so I'm going to switch the car on and the uh, air conditioning and head back to Eastbourne go around town stop off at Tesco to get garlic sausage yeah I fancy that now in my sandwiches and a couple of grapefruit juices and off to Asda to get quite a lot of things actually so that's the next step
that was as you saw the Eastbourne Food and Arts Festival and it's nearly five o'clock so it's got three hours left of it that means it's been open for nine hours so I suppose the first nine hours was probably full of stalls and people this is just the last three, three or few hours of the exhibitors winding down right I'm off now around town a bit more and then Tesco as the home have a bite to eat while watching Mission Impossible Fallout
a car park as you may have seen <laughs> um, where to Tesco got the grapefruit juice times two and um, garlic sausage I looked at the price of the grapefruit juice and it was 85p did I mention by the way that the pink grapefruit has returned to Asda well it has and I remembered the real reason why I used to get pink grapefruit over Tesco's grapefruit the original grapefruit I couldn't find a reason last time not a proper one something about it being bitter and sweet no it wasn't it's um, the bitterness of the grapefruit juice is no comparison to the pink grapefruit and the real reason why I, I switched over to pink grapefruit juice was because of the price You see, I think the pink grapefruit juice at Asda was 60. I've got the engine on because I'm, that's another thing I'll tell you there in a second. Um, Asda had, a, had the pure, pure pink grapefruit juice at 80p, or was it 60p? Tesco was selling theirs at 80p and that was the reason why I started having pink grapefruit juice because it was value for money now um, pink grapefruit juice has gone up to 80p and matches and matches Tesco so I should have twigged when that happened to start getting the Tesco's one sorry about the spittle and now I've just noticed the price of the Tesco grapefruit juice and it's 85p so it's 5p more than as the but it's not the same as it being 20 pence difference I mean 5 pence that won't sway it I'll still get the Tesco grapefruit juice from now on the other thing is uh, my smartphone ran out of battery and I had to memorize the two items of the Google Keep because um, that's the problem I've got now I've got a big uh, shopping list fairly big about 10 items and I don't have enough battery let me see how much battery I've got I've got 14% battery so I might be able to get away with it so I'm going to just charge it now as I speak that's why I went that's why I parked over here to you know buy time yes yeah, so I've got to memorize the 10 items in case the phone goes out I try to use the small the phone to pay for the grapefruit and the garlic and of course the I switched the phone off because I didn't have enough memory so I had to use my credit debit card so I'm so the point of this tale is I'm so reliant on this smartphone for everything it's got all my reminders on it it's got it's got my Google pay so I've got to keep it topped up I must remember when it goes it did give me an alarm, a, 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 um, a warning at 15% but I ignored it because I thought well I can always charge it in the car what I didn't realize was when I leave the car to go shopping I won't have enough battery power anyway I'm off to Asda's now and get these 10 items
junk mail. Little something bits. <laughs> Meet Robert, eh? The dental clinic. Right, this is the little thing. One bread goes down to four slices, i.e. two sandwiches. So that would have been okay. Great for juice. Cracker. Great for juice two, uh, two. Another a new bottle of garlic and herb. Garlic sausage. I, I, was, I wanted to get three spag balls ready meals, so I've got three chicken curry and rices instead. I'll have. I'm gonna have that with the with the film. Corn flakes. Just as a backup, nutty bars, aka paraffin. Chili con carne, two cans of. Sounds a bit like train spotting. And muesli as backup. And that's all, that's all folks.